Hey, it's Ken here with UAV Coach. In our last video, we showed you how to use the Omnibucket test stands in an open test lane format to test your basic drone piloting skills. Today, we're gonna challenge you a bit more and show you some examples of how you can use these same test stands in an obstructed test lane format. So let's get to it. As we mentioned previously, the National Institute of Standards and Technology has established the means and methods for testing drone pilot proficiency. These standards are used by various organizations such as the National Fire Protection Association and others. We built the standard Omnibucket stands using white two gallon buckets, but the NIST also uses other types of test apparatuses or stands that have smaller black buckets which can be used for various scenarios. Check out the NIST Aerial Systems website for more examples. We had some comments that asked about the purpose of doing these tests, so I wanted to try to clarify. As mentioned, these are standards that are established by NIST for testing drone piloting skills and they're used by organizations that require precision flying, such as fire departments, law enforcement, search and rescue, and also utility workers. In any search or rescue operation, it can be like trying to find a needle in a haystack, and you may be dealing with other conditions like adverse weather or high winds and obstructions. These tests are designed to simulate some of the real world situations so that drone pilots aren't concerned with how to fly the drone, but rather how to accomplish the mission. Establishing standardized methods allows anyone to evaluate their pilot proficiency. And by having specific measurements like target accuracy and time constraints allows you to assess your skill improvement over time. Currently, there are five levels starting with basic proficiency, moving up in difficulty through confined test lane procedures in level five. In our last video, we went through some examples of the open testing procedures for basic proficiency. Today, we'll show you some ways that you can start to introduce obstructed test lane procedures and challenge yourself a little bit more. We've got our bucket stands set up to get you familiar with flying close to objects and avoid hitting them while being able to capture precision images of the targets. This involves situational awareness, correct use of flight controls, and the use of gimbal and camera controls. Practicing these situations and maneuvers not only helps in precision flying, but ultimately makes you a better drone pilot for any type of use, whether it's search and rescue, accomplishing roof inspections, capturing aerial shots of real estate, or flying a drone for fun in your backyard. The more comfortable you become, the better pilot you'll be. Our first exercise will be a little more challenging than what we did in the last video. For this, you'll need a table of some sort that will hold three of the bucket stands and allow for one stand to be placed under the table. Your landing spot should be about 10 feet from the end of the table. And again, you should stand about 10 feet away from the landing spot. For this exercise, you have five minutes to take a photo of each possible bucket. There may be three buckets that are not really feasible to get a complete circle in the image the top bucket and two end buckets of the stand under the table. So that leaves 17 possible buckets that a complete green circle image is possible, unless you have a table configuration that will allow all 20 buckets to be seen. You'll take off from the landing spot and climb to a height that will work for you to take the photos of each bucket. In these exercises, we're leaving the flying height up to you to determine what's best. You can do each stand, then move to the next, or you can capture the top buckets first, then move around to the side buckets, or you can do whatever works best for you. You have to be quick though, because you only get five minutes to capture photos of the 17 visible buckets. We're using the same scoring as last video, where you get five points for a photo showing the entire green ring, one point for a partial ring, and zero points for a broken ring. So you can get a total of 90 points, including the landing, if you use the 17 buckets. Just for the record, I scored 82 because two of my pictures were just barely missing a part of the circle. It's not as easy as you might think, especially if you have very much wind. Now let's set up an obstructed test lane. Set up your buckets in a similar fashion to what we show here, but they don't have to be exactly the same. 
make adjustments to fit the area that you're flying in. In our case, we set up two stands on a table with the bottom one inverted and the top one stacked on top of that in a normal upright position. Your landing spot should be about 10 feet from the end of the table. And again, you should stand about 10 feet away from the landing spot. The other two stands should be set up somewhere near an obstacle so that the obstacle becomes a factor in capturing images of the bucket targets. If you're using a tree, be careful with branches that could interfere with the drone operation. We don't want the drone to hit any branches that might interfere and are difficult to see. If you have enough space, spread these two bucket stands out across the space you're using so that you at least have to fly to each location, not just move a little bit to the next stand. This time we're going to give ourselves 10 minutes to complete the exercise. Start out by launching the drone to your desired height. Again, we're gonna leave this up to you. Take a photo of your first bucket. In our case, it's 2A. Now from here, you can choose how you wanna proceed, but you need to take a photo of all visible buckets, which should be a total of 18, unless your table configuration allows you to get one additional or 19. There will be at least one bucket that's not invisible because the stand is resting on it on the table. For this exercise, you'll notice that you need to have a drone that can roll the gimbal upward as well to capture the stand that's inverted. This can be tricky and you might have to make some adjustments because drones have different ranges of upward gimbal movement. For example, the DJI Mavic 2 Pro moves upward 30 degrees, but the DJI Air 2S only moves upward 24 degrees, and the Mini 2 only moves 20 degrees. The Mavic 3 moves 35 degrees, and the Mini 3 Pro moves upward a whopping 60 degrees. This can make a difference in how you set up your inverted stand, so just be aware of the differences. In my case, I forgot to capture the top bucket on the table, but I still had enough time on the way back to land, so I captured it then. There is no deduction for the order that they're captured. Including the maximum five points for landing, in this exercise, you can get a total of 95 points unless you're able to access 19 buckets where you'll have a total of 100 points. Again, for the record, I was able to get this test perfect for 95 points. You can make variations of these tests and the scoring to make it more competitive or fun. You can deduct points for a photo that's out of focus, or you can introduce things, or people in this case, to find in a limited time frame for extra points. It all helps you practice different flying skills so it makes you a better pilot overall. The last thing we'll cover is night flight. There are kits with strobe lights that you can attach to various drones or some drones come with very strong lights on them. So you can use these bucket stands at night to run through the same kind of exercises. And it's just a different skill set and it can help you with your night flying skills. Well, that's it for this video and this series on NIST pilot proficiency standards. We hope you found it informative and helpful. We'd love to hear your thoughts and comments, so please leave comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the UAV Coach channel. If you're looking for hands-on training, UAV Coach has flight instructors in more than 30 cities across the United States. So sign up at the link below. If you want to become a certified drone pilot, Drone Pilot Ground School will guarantee your success in achieving that. There's a link down below for that as well. Until next time, all of us here at UAV Coach, we wish you blue skies and safe flying. We'll see you soon.